Well, I I uh, don't know the answer um, to that. I don't know why they they uh, are killing people um, uh, before a, a a date, a specific date. But what I can tell you is that once they see the illegal aliens mafia or the government employees uh, uh, who are illegal aliens mafia members steal your identity and government benefits. That's all they need. They needed to process. They needed your your um, information to process uh, the applications for the uh, dozens of uh, government programs that they uh, enter you uh, in without your knowledge or consent and by forging your signature. And once they do that, they don't need you because they will continue to renew your information in the uh, dozens of different uh, government programs and uh, forge your signature if they have to, submit the paperwork, and that's it. Um, they don't need you, so they will start killing you. They will start uh, denying you your medical care at the different uh, hospitals, at the different doctor's clinics, 
um, they will start falsifying your medical records, uh, which is a federal offense, uh, I believe, and uh, they will uh, terminate you. They will get you out of the way. And when I mean uh, get you out of the way, I mean killing you. They will kill you. If they cannot do it physically by sending assassins like they have sent uh, to my mother and myself um, with guns hidden under their clothing or with knives, uh, if they cannot do it that way because it's going to be, uh, it's, it's going to call too much attention, they will do it slowly but surely by uh, eliminating your uh, medical care and by eliminating any medication that uh, can improve or um, uh, improve your health or give you any kind of um, quality care. I don't say. Oh, yeah. It, it sounds horrible. I, I, too, don't understand why a lot of people are murdered before their 26th birthday. But I will share something right now with both of you. My oldest sister died when she was 26 years old. In 1986, she was born in 1960. And in fact, driving to Chicago with my youngest sister yesterday, we both kind of said she's 1960, the year of the lad. And that was a year later, 61. But, uh, and no one thinks... At age 25, they would, you lose their sister at age 26. You can't even have that in your mind. Right. And she was staying with me. Oh, wow. Yeah, in Tijuana. I had a beachside house. And now, now that what I know, I think my sister was probably one of the most dangerous areas in the world that she could be in. Oh, my goodness. I want something really stressed. And I'm just going to say it. I got to say, they said, tell the truth and shame the devil. Uh, those involved in this mafia being they're either nationals, illegals, or homegrown born here, understand one thing for sure. They hate America, thus they hate America. Yes. Okay, I'm saying it straight out. No matter if they're born from this soil or not. I don't care if you had a crumpet to eat at your table, or, uh, you know, or should I say the finest gold for knives and forks, or plastic spoons. Subversives are subversive. They, this mafia, these diversists, they hate America. They hate America. They do. And they want uh, uh, America to disappear. They want to erase um, the American culture and bring new cultures here um, so people cannot get along because they have uh, many different uh, cultures and many different um, backgrounds. And uh, it's going to be chaos. It's, it's going to be chaos. And, and uh, oh, yes. the uh, uh, executive orders that uh, President Trump um, created and, and sent uh, to be executed uh, are being blocked precisely because of that. Because if President Trump uh, is uh, able to stop the illegal immigration um, problem, uh, and build the wall, then we're going to save we're, we're going to save money for the illegal uh, from the illegal jails because uh, we we're not going to have uh, thousands of illegal aliens going into our jails, and uh, we won't have to support them in jail, uh, provide them medical care because it's illegal not to provide them medical care, provide them with food, clothing, and shelter. So we're going to save a lot of money. Uh, just by building the wall, and if if our sanctuary cities uh, are blocked from getting um, the monies that they are getting for the illegals and illegal aliens mafia members, if they are um, if they continue to get those monies, the problem is going to continue, and the assassinations of American citizens are going to continue. But if uh, our president Donald Trump is able to force the sanctuary cities to abandon their um, illegal uh, practice of protecting, protecting illegals and illegal aliens mafia members who are killing our citizens. Um, if he's able to uh, force these uh, cities to stop the illegalities, then we'll be protected. And that's precisely what the illegal aliens mafia don't want, doesn't want. So this is why they have blocked 
uh, his executive orders uh, uh, that block uh, illegals from coming to our country from seven different countries in the Middle East who hate us uh, and uh, who want to kill us and bomb uh, us. And uh, they have blocked uh, his executive order about the um, in sanctuary cities because they don't want uh, the, uh, uh, to stop the protection uh, of the illegal aliens uh, and illegal aliens mafia members. They want, the illegal aliens mafia wants uh, our citizens to be able to, to uh, continue to be assassinated, killed, and, mas uh, and, and, and subjugated by illegal aliens mafia members who are getting a, a lot of welfare benefits and um, who are treated like kings and protected in these sanctuary cities. So that's why they have blocked his two executive orders. And um, this illegal aliens mafia is not going to stop. If we don't report and fight back and call that number that um, uh, Ms. Whitfield, um, that Lauren gave us, we are, we are lost. We are doomed. We, we will not uh, survive, I tell you. Uh, you're absolutely right, uh, Professor Martinez. And again, guys, uh, I can stress it enough. Look and research for yourself. The new agency that President Trump has already signed off of, it's about two, maybe three months old. It's called VOICE. And it stands for Victims of Immigration Crime Engagement. The purpose of this agency is for citizens to report crimes committed against them by illegal aliens. They also have introduced this week a new uh, toll-free tip line. You can call. The phone number is 855-48-VOICE. 855-48-VOICE. And, of course, if you have any hesitations or concerns, I encourage you to research. I encourage you to go to Solange Martinez's Facebook page, www.facebook.com forward slash Solange, S is in Sam, O is in Ocean, L is in Love, A is in Apple, N is in Nancy, G is in Girl, E is in Edward, Dot Martinez. M is in Mary, A is in Apple, R is in Robert, P is in Tom, I is in Ida, N is in Nancy, E is in Edward, Z is in Zebra. Five, eight, one, seven. The list is there. I want us to be free. I want all of you to really Get it. The name of the game is money. This beast upon us don't see us as men and women, creators, you know, kind people, righteous people, saintly people. They see us as things, as how traffickers, in the eyes of traffickers, the main objection of them is to objectify us and get money. Let's start turning them in. I know it's a lot to absorb, it's heavy, but we are targeted and we, I'm telling you, all of us have more strength and grit than we're even aware of. All the other moderator calls, the activism, the ideals are coming out crazy. There's protests that are, or some, or I don't know the word protest, but meeting up in Washington, D.C. I don't have the money, I would love to come. Um, got great advocate calls. Uh, we're going to keep continuing the, the series with Professor Solange Martinez. I'm telling you, this woman is beautiful. Check her out. She's laid it all out. 15 years of research. This is how they do it. Look at our country. You've got to know they had to have high people in the mafia for all of this shit to move like a smooth green labyrinth of defilement. And yes, even 
people in the White House, or again, high places. The name of the game is money. And they remember, before uh, we continue, remember that uh, the people that uh, our previous administration put in place uh, for the illegal aliens mafia to survive uh, no matter what are in high places within our government. And um, they are not so easily removable because um, President Trump can call up uh, the, uh, somebody and say, remove um, Kevin McGuire from there. Uh, my investigators have the evidence to uh, prosecute him and um, uh, incarcerate him, uh, and uh, he might be able to do that with other people because once he's arrested, he he might be able to make a deal. So we, he will have to give he give up some uh, higher ups and he would have to make a deal to receive less uh, amount of um, jail time, but he can be removed. The, uh, for example, the, government, uh, the, the governor of New York State, which is known for corruption, uh, the Governor Cuomo, um, can be removed. But can Trump, President Trump, remove uh, Chuck Schumer? Can he remove uh, 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 Senator Gillibrand. Oh, the Cor yeah, Cor these are yeah, these are very high positions. Cor Cormo, he's a governor. That's high. Yes, and but Larry you know, Jerry Brown in California. Yeah, oh, that's a high position. It's not too easy to remove uh, a senator or a congress uh, person, uh, and those I illegal aliens mafia members, they will die before they um, uh, let uh, a law or or let. Uh, let uh, President Trump uh, protect our citizens. They do not want our citizens protected. They hate America and they hate our culture. They want to erase the American culture and they want money. They want the checks uh, and the uh, tons of money to continue to, to come into their pockets. Um, like the, yeah. in the previous administration. So they're not going to give up that easily, but we have to fight. We have to fight because they're draining, trafficking. In essence, they're trafficking America. Can you say they're, they're taking all the blood? Look, I mean, look at our community that used to be 5, 10, 15 years ago. Great, beautiful. Look how poor everyone is. Look at our cities and even poorer in our smaller towns. Uh, uh, everyone can have a culture, but they're trying. If we don't, I'm not being excited, but it's the truth. They're trying to implement Sharia law, you guys. That is totally opposite of democracy. Opposite. I ain't wearing a rag on my head. I'm not going to stop eating pork chops. And the last thing, especially, what that culture, how that culture views women. The way to put it. I'm not, and we're infidel. Anyway, even if we wore the rag on our head, you know what, guys? They would still want us to get on our knees and stop to heat stick. I don't think so. That's what they want. I they think that we are surely over, over, you guys. I'm telling you, we're over. I think that if we don't do, if the citizens of the United States don't do something to stop this illegal aliens mafia, we will be dead because they're not we going to stop. Dead. And we have to get something straight. Watch how they operate. I'm going to tell you what I've already noticed. Definitely from Los Angeles. A little bit here, but definitely see it more in Chicago, too. And like in the bigger cities. The, the lower end uh, soldiers, check it out. Gang stalkers that are following you everywhere. We know we were in Chicago, following us, restaurant, hospital, and all of that. They get on their little cell phones and calling each other and look like they're scoping every floor and got the little workers and stuff. But a lot of those Middle Eastern and Muslim ones, they're, they're dry sandwiching you when you get into the doctor's office. Look around. They have replaced American doctors with more of them. They barely examine you. They talk shit. And it's them. They, all they're doing is milking Medi Medi. And that's Medi-Cal, Medi-Cal. That's all they're doing. Let me remind you guys that Hillary's dead woman was Uma. Okay? You know what she is. Okay. Oh, yes. 
And now that you mentioned the doctors, I have seen a lot of... They were very close. They're still working together. Come on. It's yeah. all on YouTube. I'm lonely tonight. Can you come up? I've got something for you. Does that sound like a professional thing? Come on now. Exactly. And we know how to be. Yeah, they, they okay. Totally. Moth divers. Come on. You know that, that now, now that you... Now that you mentioned uh, um, doctors who are uh, from the Middle East and other places, mm -hmm. I have noticed that when my mother and I uh, fled uh, to come here in um, upstate New York, uh, and we fled from Yonkers, New York, we drove. Um, a, I drove eight hours uh, to come here. Uh, we were followed, and then when I took my mother to uh, Rochester's uh, Cancer Street uh, Center, um, and um, we uh, asked for a, a, an oncologist, a cancer doctor for my mother, um, because she got cancer a third time due, due to a lack of um, medical care. We noticed that two doctors from the, I think they were from India or the Middle East, Two doctors, uh, coincidentally, after my mother and I uh, came here, were immediately transferred to upstate New York, the same exact hospital that my mother was uh, going to. And we were uh, told in a very insistent uh, and persistent way to uh, be treated uh, to ask these two doctors uh, uh, to treat my mother. And they insisted uh, in a very persistent way, uh, in a, a very abnormal way, that my mother was treated by these two doctors that came from Westchester County, from uh, Kevin McGuire's uh, clinics and Kevin McGuire's controlled hospitals and um, clinics uh, for the uh, illegal aliens mafia population. So what do you think these two doctors were going to do to my mother when I took her there uh, and they were supposedly going to be treating her um, for her cancer? They were going to kill her. Uh, similarly, I uh, took my mother to a Middle East um, uh, doctor in um, uh, Yonkers, New York. Um, the uh, hospital was uh, St. John's Hospital. Um, and uh, he gave my mother, I think he was from India, was it from India? I'm not sure if he was from India or the Middle East, but he gave my mother something to, to drink um, that completely shut her lungs and she couldn't breathe. After a, a couple of days, she couldn't breathe. If she, uh, I had not taken my mother to another place, a, a clinic, and my mother, if my mother had not seen uh, an Italian doctor that gave her an antidote, she would have died because she couldn't breathe. Her lungs shut um, entirely. She couldn't breathe. Uh, and um, uh, other doctors uh, from the Middle East and from from uh, I mean from India and those places, uh, they tried to kill my mother uh, many times. I lost count uh, about the uh, many times that they tried to kill my mother. So. When you go to a hospital and they don't provide you with the uh, medical care and the medical assistance that you are supposed to uh, be provided with, leave. Don't stay there because these doctors uh, who are illegal aliens mafia members, many times they don't have a license to practice here and they are uh, provided with a position and many times with fake credentials from some, somebody else. Uh, and they are getting paid a lot of money that they should not be get, getting paid with because they don't have um, the licenses to practice in the United States. But they are given an opportunity to practice and make the same amount of money as doctors who have licenses in the United States. So that means that whoever is providing them with this um, money-making chance is going to also control them. If that person, in this case Kevin McGuire and the illegal aliens mafia members uh, assassinating citizens in our uh, hospitals and clinics, if that person tells, uh, te tells uh, the doctors to kill somebody, don't think that they're not going to do it. They will do it and they will not think twice about it because my mother worked uh, for a similar um, place 
a nursing home in Dover, in Andover, New Jersey, called Sobacube Rehab Center, and they killed a lot of old people there because the uh, uh, nurses from the Philippines, w which were the most dangerous ones, uh, got tired of the, the elderly citizens who uh, asked them for water or whatever else they wanted to ask them for. Um, they got tired because they were making, you know, $80,000 $80, per year, $90,000 per year, and they couldn't uh, go when uh, an elderly citizen called them. So they injected those uh, patients with um, something that um, will, will simulate a heart attack, and then they will turn around and say that the person had uh, a heart attack and that's why he died or she died when in reality they were injected with this substance that can only be found when they do an autopsy and can only be found uh, if they are looking for that exact substance. If they're not looking for it, they will not find it. And the, the uh, uh, result of the, uh, of the autopsy will only say, oh, the person had a heart attack and died. So don't think that if you go to a hospital and something looks so suspicious, uh, it's not. Get out of there and go to someplace else. Absolutely, you guys. And absolutely. And then if they want to keep you lingering too long or move you to a room or some kind of thing, they may be trying to straight out do a fake Baker Act. Remember there's money when they and then send me to our home. Oh, yes, they build those insurance or many, many. Oh, yes. A lot of money in mental illness and falsifying our documents and such. So um, be prepared and uh, go over survival mode. This is where I'm at also being, my sister and I being targeted, and the reason that Professor Martinez and I can stay on the same page. For your complaints, number one, let's go do a rewrap real quick, get it, and get it straight. All you need to know is, yes, I know you're tortured. Some of us are poisoned. Some of us voice telepathy. Some of us would seduce directed energy weapons. But in addition, don't think they're not making money. Because look at some of these raggedy, I mean raggedy, perps that are around us. You think this is all about human and experimentation and they could have these bozos around us? Well, this is also about making money off of, tra of common, what do I want to call it, street level trafficking. And then the real sickles get on board that like to rape and take women. And the kitty porn. They may not do the same business, but criminals know each other. You know what I'm saying? They make sure they move around us. Like you said, it don't matter if they cut the grass. Yeah, I know Memorial Day's in a few weeks, you guys. I don't care if they have a barbecue rib. They're going to have that flag swing, and they're going to cook, rape, tape, and everything else. And a lot of these creeps work in fine offices, political offices dental offices, doctor offices, advocates. Half of the time, what do you think they use women for? Who can get to a woman or a kid faster but another woman? What are women held positions mainly? Guardians, uh, foster care, nurse. They get to the women and kids faster. Everybody's involved because the name of the game is money. Okay, next we have We, we the People. Uh, Professor Martinez has a question for you. Go ahead, We the People. Okay, you're unmuted. Hello? We the People? Hello? Just a minute. Um, boy, you're hitting the hammer on the nail. Uh, can you come back to me? Uh, Please give me five yeah, minutes. Okay. Um, Okay, just, put, just go ahead and star eight, if you have another question. How about that? Star eight. Anyone that has a question, comment, or concern right now, go ahead and star eight. There's something else that we want to hit on. I'm telling you guys, I've heard some things, yes, in the community, okay? First, I'm supposed to be some kind of uh, double agent. That's a lie. I get $200 a week. Me and my sister are living like a pair of queens. Really? <laughs> we were not <laughs> Okay. You get, you're a damn lie. I'm going to tell you that right now. You're a damn lie. I'm not a double agent. Way too much information that I put out and asked Professor Martinez to put out for me is on Facebook and shit. Come on with it. If I was any kind of perp, I would, I would be a dumb one to put all of that out. Really? 
And I also, everything is there, but my Social Security, I'd be a dumb perp to and, do that. I'll tell you that much. And also, your sister will be getting a, a royalty treatment in a hospital. Not the treatment, the treatment that she has been getting. She would be uh, getting your kidney, and uh, everything will be uh, taken care of because when you um, work for the illegal aliens mafia, you and your family are taken care of. And I tell you that uh, for a fact because I was offered, my family, uh, except for my mother and myself, belong to the illegal aliens mafia. I was offered a lot of money. I was offered to resolve uh, all my problems, uh, quote unquote, if I joined this mafia. And I refused because how can you uh, be admitted into a country? How can you become a citizen of that country? How can you study uh, and become part of the culture of that country and betray that country and its citizens that way and turn around and kill its citizens like if they were dogs uh, with no human compassion or anything like that? That's not um, human. Uh, you have to be a dehumanized person to act like that. And I wonder sometimes uh, what happened to my family? What happened to my family member? What happened to my father that he became uh, a child molester, uh, an assassin uh, who sent my mother, who sent assassins after my mother and myself because we didn't want to join the illegal aliens mafia? What happened to him? Uh, what happened to my sister who uh, went to my mother's apartment in Yonkers, New York? My sister, Cari, uh, Caridad. Uh, she went to kill my mother, and that was after uh, she and my father uh, asked us many times to switch um, my mother's social security, social security number and to take another social security number so they can, the illegal Lias Mafia can continue to sell her old social security number. What happened to them? I wonder what happened. Uh, my family used to be uh, Catholic. We were raised Catholic, and all of a sudden when uh, they joined this uh, mafia or this group, this assassination group uh, that assassinates American citizens to continue to steal and, gov uh, and their government benefits and their identities, when they joined this mafia, they turned into beasts that have no heart, they have no feelings, they have no love for thy neighbor. They have no love for their children. Uh, they abuse their children. They tor torture their children. Uh, sell the children to the best buyer. What happened to to uh, people who whom I used to know in my family? Uh, is money that important? Uh, is money everything in life? Uh, is there another life besides this life when you die? Uh, are they going to, are we uh, facing uh, a judgment uh, by God when we die? Or we only have this life. After this life, uh, everything stops, which I don't think. So I don't understand what a power this illegal, what dark power this illegal alias mafia has uh, over uh, citizens and over uh, legal residents and illegals that they want to kill thy neighbor and uh, steal everything they own, everything they have, everything they work for. What happened? It, it is like, uh, you know, uh, money has turned them into beasts. Uh, all they want is money. They don't get satisfied with any amount of money. The more, the more money they have, the more money they want. What is going on? Why is this thirst for money uh, that is not satiable ever. And then if they're that sort of thinking, the greed for money, especially for the lower levels of the mafia, you know that the, it's probably like Las Vegas, and the house takes more. Do you think they have to even work harder for the money because they have to give up so much to the mafia, a percentage for their jobs and Killing these people. I don't what, what understand. What is the price of your soul? That's so true, everyone. What is the price of your soul? Yes. I can tell you, uh, people have made these decisions, and I, I don't know. 
the life of a perp or, or how, you know, or, or see through their eyes, how they think, how they operate. Do they love kittens or puppies or do they torture them? Um, I get the feeling, but it's just purely my opinion, subjective, purely subjective, that it, it is misogynist and hates women, but shit. I don't understand why a person will will uh, love uh, the money so much that they don't care about the children, that they send uh, assassin after the children to continue to steal uh, from the government using the children's name and information. Uh, my grandmother, my mother's mother, she came here uh, when uh, she was like 50 years old or something like that. She was working, she was getting um, disability benefits at the time. Uh, she took care supposedly of my um, nieces, my two nieces. She got $300 per week there. She took care of my other um, two uh, nephews from uh, my other sister, Carrie. She was getting uh, $200, 200 something dollars there. Um, she was getting food stamps uh, and Medicaid, and she was 50 something years old. Now she's, uh, then she was uh, 76 years old. She had um, a liposuction uh, to, to have the body of a youngster when she was 76 years old. Uh, she continued to collect money illegally because she never reported the money that. Uh, she was getting from my two sisters uh, by being a babysitter for them. Uh, she uh, used to go to pantries and collect a lot of uh, donated food, send it to the Dominican Republic, and she had two grocery stores there. She was also collecting that money, the I'm profits sorry. from that I'm money. I'm so sorry. Yeah. Yeah. I got kicked off. Go ahead, Salon. Yes. Uh, I was wondering why is it so... Why are uh, illegal aliens mafia member members so uh, money thirsty? Uh, why do they like money so much? It, it seems to me like it is never enough. The more money they get, the more money they defraud from the USA government, the more money they want. Like in the case of my father, he has access to two millions of dollars every month, uh, or at least he had access when uh, he was uh, w when we were under the Obama administration, and, we, and I still think that he has access to that because he continues to pay uh, out of the taxpayers' money and donation money. He continues to pay um, six hundred and fifty dollars to each illegal aliens mafia members and uh, e member, and we have millions in the United States, and also. He pays money to illegal aliens mafia members in the Dominican Republic. Um, he also uses my mother's name in um, a, a, a social security, uh, a number that is called a uh, cedula or cell in the Dominican Republic, which is equivalent uh, to a social security number in this country. He uses my mother's and he uses mine to get $650 for each of us, every week, he packets that money. On top of that, he gets uh, a paid for working in the United Nations. On top of that, he gets all the government uh, benefits that um, he, he wants uh, because he belongs to the illegal aliens mafia. He just has to call somebody at the uh, Department of Social Services and they will give whoever he sends there uh, all the government benefits that uh, they want. and he. Um, also gets the, all the government benefits that he wants. So why is he thirsting for money still? It seems like the illegal aliens mafia members are never satisfied. The more money they steal from the USA government, the, the more money they defraud, the more money they want. As I was saying, my grandmother is an old woman. She's about 80 years old or so right now. She still continues to defraud the USA government. She still continues to get uh, Medicare when she's not a citizen. She has been getting Medicare since 2009, uh, and she was not a citizen. She's a she was a legal resident. 
uh, in 2009, and she had New York, I mean, she has, um, she had Medicare then. So how can uh, she defraud the USA government? How can uh, illegal aliens mafia members working at the Social Security Administration offices give her Medicare when she is, was not a citizen in 2009? That's illegal. They are acting against the Constitution. They are acting against the law. How can my, my sister, uh, Carrie, uh, renounce or, or reject the, her citizenship, her USA citizenship, and go to the Dominican Republic and comes back with a, a diplomatic passport when uh, she renounced, uh, 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 she, re she became a USA citizen. Then after she renounced or she rejected her USA citizenship, she, ca she came here and uh, her citizenship was given back to her again. Once you resign to your citizenship here in the United States, you are not uh, allowed to go back to a citizenship or to become a legal resident ever again. So what I wonder is where did our laws went? We have no laws. Right now, uh, illegal aliens mafia members can do anything they want, and we have no laws. So what, where are we going? Are, is this country going to continue lawlessness, or is this country going to go into our uh, new president's direction and is going to go into law, uh, into the law, and is going to follow the USA Constitution? Because, as I see it, the only one that uh, is being uh, is following the USA Constitution and, and wants uh, our citizens protected from the illegal aliens mafia and the illegal aliens mafia members. Uh, who are gangsters and who are gangs, who belong, belong to gangs, is our president and his associates. Uh, I don't see uh, the Democrats, uh, Chuck Schumer or the other senators who are working with him, uh, acting in the best interest of our country. They are rejecting uh, the possibility of uh, criminals not being protected in Los Angeles and in other citizens. That clearly shows that they do not want our citizens protected. That clearly shows that they want our citizens to be, to continue to be uh, mut mutilated, assassinated, and uh, raped and robbed by the illegal aliens mafia members. So we need to do something. We need to uh, report this to the illegal aliens mafia um, enemies. And we need to call that 1-800 number uh, that uh, Lauren gave us for the uh, voice, uh, and we need to report. We cannot stay silent anymore. We need to report. So please call the number, report um, your uh, uh, subjugation and your abuse by the illegal alias mafia, and uh, speak out. Don't accept less than... Uh, what you deserve. You're a USA citizen and you deserve your um, medical care, you deserve your uh, government benefits, and you deserve to be treated with dignity and respect. Well,